Datacake has a public and open MQTT broker, and you can use that to listen to your device's measurement values data, but also forward data from any other source into a device on Datacake in your workspace. And in this video, I'm going to show you how this works with that um, Dragino LHT65, which I've got here in my office. So when we go into configuration, you see the MQTT integration, and it's always working. When we go into configure, you just see some um, the address of the broker and the topic which you can use to subscribe, but also the topic which you can use to publish data into your devices. And you could also subscribe to fields and products, but more on that later. First of all, we need to go into the member section and under API users, we are going to create an MQTT token. I've already done this and in the device permissions, you can see that you could, for example, set the device's um, permissions. Um, I'm going to delete that here. And just to show you, you could give it a name and apply different rights and roles and permissions here. So we already done that. I'm going to copy it and go into the MQTT broker, the MQTT Explorer, I mean, um, to access that way. So let's go back into the device, um, access that device once more under permissions because there's the API token. And because I deleted it, um, I'm going to set that back um, to active. So the next step, what we need to do is find out um, the subscribe topic. And we are going to paste this here into um, our MQTT Explorer. Go back, save it, and connect. So once more back to the dashboard. And now what happens? I'm going to um, set the payload from the device. And next, you can see that the dashboard was refreshing because there was a new device, a new measurement value. And also um, here you've got um, yeah, the way is coming directly from your device on your MQTT, on the DataCAC MQTT broker and in your MQTT client software and or whatever you want to have. This also um, works for the front end. So that means that um, for the front end we are seeing here, we are using MQTT over WebSockets. So if you have a front end application and you want to receive live data from your devices, you could use the um, WebSocket forward for MQTT to receive MQTT in your browser's application or your smartphone app or whatever. Um, there's also an advanced feature. Um, we allow the creation of products. So that means we have one product, but many devices and they all inherit from the product. And you could subscribe onto the product. And when one of the each device, one of those all those devices from that product then publishes the value or sends the value, it will be published over the MQTT broker, and you could receive from any of those devices belonging to that product. And if you want to send data to um, your devices on Datacake, for instance, when you um, create an API device, you can use the API the MQTT. Um, broker and the MQTT API to forward data into Datacake. The MQTT broker and the MQTT stuff for all your devices is always working. So that means when you create a device for Lover Van or something like that on Datacake, you could always subscribe to that device using MQTT and forward data. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.